Out of everything you've heard, this is the last word. What up? It's your boy Bill Colleyon. And um, I got news, but before I get started, you know, I got some sad news. You know what I mean? Um, one of my um, friends was um, gunned down yesterday um, in broad daylight, you know, and, um, you know, I just want to send my condolences and the RIP to him. And I just want to do a little moment of silence before we get started, you know, because uh, the way that went down was dirty and, um, you know, plus it's in B. So before we go, let's do this. Let's get this, let's get this piece up. Okay. All right, man. That was man. I'm um, you know, um Yeah, we got news. You know, you know me. It's always going to be exclusive. It's going to be it's going to be something off the chain. And it's going to be something a lot of people ain't talking about. I ain't shit. You know. Now I did some things on the uh Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. But hey, what can you say? That was a big fight. But um, what I'm starting off right here is I don't know if a lot of y'all are familiar with uh, it was a it was a robot that they created. I, it didn't get much publicity back in um, 2016, but there was a robot, it was supposed to be a female robot. That was created in 2016 Named Sophia, right? Uh, she was, you know She was created by, uh, you know, by the Hensons By uh, Robotics A robotics company in Hong Kong You know, they always jumping off You know what I'm saying? Look at your Samsung phones You know what I mean? You know they gonna have something going, going on They even made it on the dark side of the moon But you know as I go on, but uh, they had created this robot back in 2016, right? No. Fast forward to 2021. Now, this robot humanoid is so sophisticated, you wouldn't guess what this robot wants. This robot wants a family. It wants a baby. Of all things. Now, you know, this isn't the um, Tesla robot that I was telling y'all about uh, uh, about a couple of videos ago. But this was, like I said, this was a 2016 um, um, creation from the Hensons. But, but see, the thing is, you know, I... For them to even come out with this and even publish this is just kind of weird to me. Because for the simple fact, you got to explain more than what you're saying to us. You know what I mean? Because for the simple fact, okay, yeah, it wants a family. But uh, could we go about why are you telling us this and how are you going to go about doing this? Because for you to even speak on this, you got to have some kind of means of doing this. You know, but I already know it's not going to be one of those things where it's going to be televised, where a robot is actually is going to have a baby. No, they're just going to make a little a child for the uh, robot, of course. So I guess by 2025, this robot, uh, what, Sophia, she should have at least about two, two kids and a husband. By 2025, she she wants a family. Hey, there you go, a girl, a boy, got you a husband, robot. You know what I mean? But uh, hey, the thing is, it's not conducive to what we're doing. Now the Tesla robot that has potential in the future to do some big things. Now this robot, this is just something they playing with. You know what I mean? As you can see on the picture, she, boy, 
she reminded me of somebody, a matter of fact. But what I'm trying to say is, come on, man. Besides tell us all that, tell us what she can do. Can she cook? Can she clean? You know what I mean? Can she go get my groceries? See, these are the things the Tesla robot is going to be trying to do. So that I anything like that, I'm with. Somebody just go on a mission and get your stuff, especially in these conditions. You don't really want to touch things and everybody out weird. Go see your robot do it. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't care about no robot having no family. I'm just reporting it to you because, like I said, I do exclusive and talk about things that nobody else is talking about. Real shit. But, uh, yeah, that's crazy shit, though. You know what I mean? Show, you know what I'm saying? Show it to me. I'm gonna check it out, though. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on and, and how they talking about it. You know what I mean? So when they gonna go ahead and and get this done, or if they're going to go through with this, it's, it's weird to me. But, uh, yeah. Now. Okay. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure y'all heard this. Because, you know, I'm last word TV. I round up the stuff y'all probably already done talked about. And get you a little gibby, gibby, gabby about. But I get the last word here. Now. I know. That everybody done heard about this Superman incident. Come on, man. Now we're going too far. We, you know, the cancel culture for for the LGBTQ community. Man, look. It's just on an all-time high. But that's as far as I'm going to go on, man. Leading people off. Off chain. But the thing is, what? Well, I don't like, and I'm just going to tell you what it is. Dean Cain, you know what I'm saying? A slam Superman coming out as bisexual. It isn't bold or brave. And I'm with him. I'm with Dean Cain. It is not bold nor brave. It's just following a narrative. That you're all trying to push. That you really don't have to push. You, you know, you're empowering, you know, something that already has its power. You know? They're already flooding the scene. They're in my shows. They're in my movies. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want it in my comic books also. Now, it's going to be in the comic books. I mean, come on, man. Can a, can a person have some kind of outlet... Without something tangible, without something tied to it. That's all I'm saying. You know, like I said, big ups to y'all. Much, you know what I'm saying, maybe a win for you you guys. But I'm just saying, this is not what I want to watch. It's things that you guys don't want to watch. And you speak up and say, oh, I don't want to watch that. And what do they do? They change their shows and their movies and they put a little bit of you in there. Just to make you feel welcome and make you feel good. Don't, but don't take a lot out of it because they're doing that to us too. You know, black people wasn't always in the movies. And, and you know, and, and black people usually always got killed at the beginning of the movie. You know, it's kind of started later. There's older, um, you know, there's older black people movies, there was a um, black, uh, what was his name, I didn't get his name, but there was an older actor from back in the, I think in the 50s, the 1950s, 1960s, and you know, he was like a butler or a slave, I don't know, whatever, but he never died, but he was the first actor, but since then, everybody would start dying at the, I say about the first five or ten minutes of the movie dead, you know, and then when Obama became president, or when they found out he was, I seen they was gradually, you know what I'm saying, don't give me the line, but they were gradually just pushing in the narrative and putting more blacks into the movies, you see what I'm saying, and to the point, till now, 
we got leading roles. Boom. You know, huge stars. You know what I mean? But um, don't take a, don't take too much out of this because, hey, they did it for us. Now they're doing it for you. Don't go crazy. But uh, yeah, I don't agree with. I don't care about who don't like what I'm saying, but I don't like it. Give me some room. You see what I'm saying? A little room, though. You know what I mean? Sometimes you, your guys get, you guys get overwhelmed also. You're overwhelming me with this stuff. You're canceling cats for speaking up and saying what they got to say towards um, your community. You know? You know, you, you, you don't, you're getting, you're getting rights. Be happy. You know, be proud of what's going on for you. You did it. You made it. But let us get a little breathing room. That's all I'm saying. But I ain't going to link too much on that. I ain't digging Superman coming out. And I don't want this to translate to the big screen. And that's it for what I'm, all of that. But, um. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy out here, man. It's crazy. Okay. Now, now Kyrie Irving. Now, I'm on. Uh, this was everywhere. You saw it on ESPN. You seen it on almost every little news outlet. You seen it on some of the YouTube channels. You seen it on small. You seen it on big. But you ain't seen it on Last Word TV. So this is my thing about it. Like every person in this world, we all got a choice. I mean, I understand that he's risking, you know, understand that he's risking the, um, you know, the lives of others by making this decision. But all in the same sense, it's his decision. Still, people have to respect it. Just like what we, I was just saying about the LGBTQ community. Hey, we respect it. People respect this. Hey, he's willing to risk money. Evidently, he's well secure uh, within his finances. So, if he is, this ain't gonna bite him. This is just something that he's just standing up for. You know his track record. I ain't got to go through his track record of what he done stood for in the past. Some things I agree with, some things I didn't. But I do know this. Everyone in America, and we got a freedom of speech and freedom to do what we want, he has a freedom to make his decision. Hey, you ain't got to let him play. But respect this man's decision. That's all I'm saying. Because for the simple fact, the man don't trust the vaccine. There's other professional people that don't trust the vaccine. There are people in health profession, professionals, that don't want the vaccine. Um, it's been proof proven. People with the vaccine has also been tested again and found that they also had you know the um you know corona still you know they still held the virus so I kind of understand where he's coming from because he doesn't see no bleed way he doesn't see this this vaccine stopping the uh the virus in his tracks you know, it's not stopping the pandemic at all. There's still places you can't go. There's still places where you need to show your car that you are vaccinated. You know what I mean? There's just no freedom, you know. You know, you ain't have to have a car for the um for the flu virus. Hey, you was going freely as you will, sneezing on the back of people next when you're in line. 
But you ain't need a car for that. But now, uh, we got something similar that's, you know what I mean, that's out here doing the same thing that the fool did. You understand me? Because understand, you wouldn't understand, you wouldn't, see, it looks bad because we're focusing on the number now. We're not focused on the number of other viruses and other things. Now, if we were focusing on the number of other things, yeah, those would seem bad. Yeah, those things are bad, but it would seem even worse if we kept track of the number every single day, like we're doing this one, you know? And that's the only thing about it. But it's just like the flu. A little different with it in certain sense. Because one thing about the flu, you could breathe. You know? It, it wasn't, uh, you know, this is a little different. But the thing is, it's similar. But I believe it's killing close to the same number. You know what I mean? That's the flu. You understand where I'm coming from? It may be, you know, a couple of thousand, you know, off because, you know, uh, you know, the different symptoms that the uh, coronavirus carry, you know, that, hey, there's different things that, hey, that kill you. Uh, you you um, do the ventilator the wrong way. Those can kill you. You know, some of those deaths in the hospital, you know, hey, we could be here or there, but I'm not going to guess on that. But, uh, but I do know this. We have COVID-19 right now, right? But where did the flu go? Okay. If I go to the hospital and, and tell them what I got. Like, man, I'm just trying to, you know, you know what I'm saying, get something for this flu, man. They'd be like, man, let me check you out. Like, nah, fool. After they check you out, they'd be like, nah, fool, that ain't no flu. You got the coronavirus. Um, we're going to either have to keep you or we're going to send you home and you're going to have to quarantine. Now, that's bull. Where did it go? Where did the flu go? That's my thing. Hey. I ain't no fool. You ain't gonna fool me. But I understand you, Kyrie. And those are the things that he thinks about. You know what I mean? You can, you can scream conspiracy theory or you can, sp you can scream um, facts. Either way, we're going to meet in the middle. And we're going to figure this out. And that's it for me, man. This is Last Word TV. That's pretty much the news I have now. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to bring you some more content. Soon and some more exclusive. I don't really, you know, send double and double and everything. You know, so that's out there because it, it's kind of watered down to me. Um, you know, so I have strong beliefs just like you, Kyrie. I don't do all that, you know. It ain't just about the views. It's about these facts. Um, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to collect some more facts for you. And I'm going to be right back. And I'm out. Peace.